And whose team is this? Is this your team? Or is this your daddy's team? Thanks for listening to the Dad Mode Podcast, common sense parenting in a politically correct world. Here's your host, Andy Carlson. Welcome back to the Dad Mode Podcast, Common Sense Parenting in the Good Collective World. I'm your host, Andy Carlson, at Andy Carlson Show on the Twitter machine. I'm a father. I have no idea what I'm doing, but you and either they're chiefy, so let's try and learn something together today. Uh, website is dadmodepod.com. If you want to tweet us, uh, tweet at dadmodepod or just use the hashtag uh, dadmode. I uh, have a, a first, I have a follow-up episode on the one that we did a little bit while uh a couple weeks back, uh, about potty training because uh, the wife actually did what we were talking about, like the hardcore uh, going at it thing. And you know how we did it? Because we scheduled it using the Picnic app. That's right. All of your schedules and everything hustling and bustling all in one place because it's hard. It is extremely difficult to get everyone on the same page, and you have no idea how much stress is relieved by just making sure everyone is where they need to be at the right time. And uh, go to picnic.com, P-I-C-N-I-I-C.com slash get started. Uh, Set up your account and use promo code PODPIC, P-O-D-P-I-C, 30 days of Picnic Premium for free. Like I said, it's been a godsend. We use it here at the Carlson Household, and it is amazing. Again, picnic.com slash get started. Uh, promo code is PODPIC, P-O-D-P-I-C. Again, picnic.com, P-I-C-N-I-I-C. Hit it up. And uh, coming in on this episode is uh, a bit of an interesting scenario. So last uh, two weeks ago, we talked about potty training at Margaret and the, the extreme method of uh, no, no no safety net and just let her piss or poo herself. Yeah. Well, uh, the the mother of the child. Hello. Hello. Uh, she tried that. She she kind of tried it on a, a day off, and I just want to walk through everything that happened because it caught me by surprise as well. Uh, well, we started. It wasn't a bad day the first day. Yeah. She's usually very opposed to sitting on the potty. Now, what's your relationship to Margaret? Uh, I believe she's my daughter. Oh, there's no way to know. Not for sure. Yeah. She looks more like you. But she really does. But anyways, the the potty, I feel like she's been pretty good potty-wise. Like, I guess you can't really be bad in diapers. Like, you can have blowouts, sure, and that well, happens like really, infrequently. But that's not really your fault. Yeah. It's yeah, a diaper's fault. Yeah, but like before, like sporadically, we've tried to sit around the potty and yeah, sometimes a little hit or miss. Well, by sporadically, you mean maybe like you put her on it once a day. Yeah. Yeah. It's always at the same time, though. Like morning constitutional. Mm-hmm. Like you just take a good crap in the morning. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So- but now the the method that you looked up was the one that I, I talked about on the show a little bit ago. It's... For basically forced feeding the kid liquids and then putting them uh, on the toilet every 15 minutes. Which is hard to do. Yeah. I set a timer at first, but then I just kind of, then I just kind of rolled with it whenever I felt like it. Yeah. Now, was she okay with this? Surprisingly, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, in the at first, she was not too excited. Um, but as the day went on, I think she got used to the idea that I'm going to have to sit on this potty because they're making me. So she just did it. Did she think that something was up because she was getting juice? Uh, probably not. It was very watered down. Because we're, we're not juice people. No, never. It was very watered down, though. So I don't think she really enjoyed it that much. Now, this was a... Uh, did this extend over two days or was it just one day? Uh, we'll say one and a half. We're working on okay. it today, but uh, how many times was she sitting on that uh, on the potty before she peed in the potty? Uh, actually, the very first time she sat on it, both mornings she peed. What? Yeah. And did we go without diapers? Because I, I know that's a little dicey. It's like, well. To make sure that they don't have a safety net, you have to put them in underwear. And if they have an accident, they have an accident. Uh, I did a combo of underwear and um, pull-ups. Make them more exciting. You know, characters. Yep. You don't want to pee on the characters, so you better go on that potty. 
Now, we're going to get to the spot because she'll wear, like, nighttime diapers. Is that the next step? Well, nighttime diaper. No, we're, like, pull-ups. Oh, pull-ups. Yeah. Yeah, pull-ups are... Basically, pull-ups are diapers that you pull up. Yeah. Like, they're basically diapers. You notice that the marketing on diapers isn't too aggressive, except, you know, loves, they they absorb twice as much, but pull-ups, that's when uh, Madison Avenue, they start marketing towards the kids. I'm a big kid now. Look at the pull-ups. You can, you can piss on Elmo's face. That's what I want to do. It's probably about the characters, yeah, because yeah. they're old enough to be using the potty. They're probably old enough to have a favorite character. Yeah, except it's always backwards logic, like... Why would you want to soil your favorite character? But that's the whole point. You don't want to. That's why you go in the potty. But you're gonna. Yeah, you ha- yeah, it happens. Yeah. Yeah. But, but then you feel bad about it. Now, how are you bribing her? Besides, it was M and M's, right? Only if she went to the potty. She yeah. didn't get anything for sitting on the potty. Because if she didn't go, she didn't get anything. Uh, was she starting? Did she ever get annoyed by? Every 15 minutes or 20 minutes just having to get sit? Um, because we put the toilet in a spot where she could play watch, with her toys watch <laughs> and watch TV, <laughs> she was pretty fine with it. She had her toys by her. She was still playing. She had a snack. She had her beverage. Basically, she was very comfortable. I, I, I do want to say that if everyone had a toilet where you could watch TV and have access to all the things they're interested in, you would never leave. Oh, well, actually, that's basically it now with a phone. Yeah. Yeah. And, and man, in a couple of years, it's going to be phone uh, and tablet training with kids because kids figure out tablets really quick. Well, I'm sure there's people that do that. I mean, yeah. if we had a tablet, I'd probably let her play with it on the toilet just to keep her on the toilet. Yeah, because like when Netflix goes, are, are you still watching My Little Ponies? You know, that screen pops up. She, she goes up to the TV and tries to press OK. So, like, she already knows the UI, UX of everything. She knows to push the purple button on the remote. We've gone over this. Yeah. Then I don't have to get up and get the remote for her. Oh, where are you training her just like uh, you, you try to train a dog to bring you a beer? No, I just tell her to push the purple button. Oh. Yeah. But has she gone number two in the toilet yet? No. No. I thought we were close today, but no. <laughs> has she gone number two right after you take her off and put her in a diaper? No, she's waited till she's gone. I've tried to put her down for a nap. Oh, that's well, not really good timing. No. Yeah, the. <laughs> we like she's so funny because uh, we're, we're looking into getting her in preschool, and like uh, you have to be potty for preschool, or, or at least. Wait, wait. Do they actually check? Well, I mean, they're gonna know if your kid's not potty trained after yeah. a few days and they go all the time and have lots of accidents. Yeah. But like what what's the leeway there? Like what like cuz I feel like potty training should be pass fail, but I feel like there's many grades. I'm sure there's some, you know, work. I mean, the kids are 3. They're just yeah. starting to potty train some of them and I'm sure they have accidents. That's why you send an extra outfit yeah. to school with them. Also, we're pretty fortunate in that my schedule and you know my my jobs and gigs allow us to the flexibility to do some of these uh, you know, preschool things. But man, like the preschool hours are like nine fifty seven a.m. to ten seventeen a.m. That's a very short time frame. Yeah, and, and, and you can't camp out and stay. So it's like yeah, yeah. All the moms, uh, the stay at home moms, stay at home dads. Uh, you know, they drop the kid off and it's like oh. I better go get him. Pick him up. I got woo. Like what? What if? I, like how would a single mom handle this if she has no help or like even like two working parents with like no immediate family in the area? Yeah, the timing's not great, but I think a lot of school districts you can maybe find busing. You put a three-year-old or, kid on the bus or daycare that offers transportation to and from the school. Mm. But then you got to do daycare, so yeah, it's a racket. I tell you. It is very odd hours. Yeah. but <laughs> And with Margaret potty training, we know that she is grown up, grown up fast and everything like that. So Easy Kicks. Easy Kicks is the place to go to get brand new sneakers where y- your kid is going to either outgrow them or destroy them, right? And with Easy Kicks, kid can- 
kids can wear out their shoes as long as they want. And once they're too wrecked, too small, or just want a new style, send them back in their prepaid shipping envelopes, and they'll donate them to one of their nonprofit partners. It is win, win, win all the way around. Plus, here's the biggest win part. 20 bucks a month. 20 bucks a month, and no limits on how often you can swap for a new pair. Plus, they're partnered with Nike, with Converse, so you get stylish, uh, new Great looking shoes all the time. So go to easy stick, uh, easykicks.com slash join now and use the discount code easy listen. Uh, the letters easy listen at checkout and you get five bucks off your first month in the club. So it's, ar- it's already only 20 bucks a month. You get five bucks off just by signing up by using our code. Do it up. Easykicks.com slash join now. Our discount code is E Z listen. Again, letters E Z and listen. I, I have. Hmm. All right, so I can tell you this now because statute of limitations. Uh, I was taking Margaret into Fresh Time once, and uh, I was going to – God, what, what was the plan? Oh, her diaper was wet, so I was going to change her diaper. So I just brought the diaper in. Uh, I, I didn't bring any wipes because it's like, oh, it's just a pee, and, and we'll, we'll be fine until we get home. Uh, but then as we're walking through Fresh Time, she, she goes uh, – she drops the bomb. On the bit. Sounds about right. Yeah, it's like uh, from Inception. And then, uh, so I'm like, crap. Because uh, we're Push already. Early. Yeah, we're already there. I, I didn't realize it until we were in the changing station and the diaper is already off. So it's not like I could put that diaper back on, go to the go back to the car, get wipes and come back. Or even buy wipes at Fresh Time. I mean, you know if they sell wipes. They, they probably they sell. Do. They probably sell like. Or, or organic, conflict-free wipes are biodegradable. Like, how, how biodegradable are we talking? Like, you, it's, probably, you probably could have found Pampers. It's dissolved. No. <laughs> no, it ha- I had a diaper. I just didn't have wipes. Pampers makes wipes. No, whatever. And the, the only brand that makes anything is Target brand because that, they are the best and mm-hmm. they're, they're cheapest. Uh, but so what I did <laughs> is she, she was a good sport through all this, too. I, I, I just wet paper towels and... And then put the diaper on, and then we never spoke about it again. Margaret and I can't even make eye contact anymore, but we shared a moment. It happens. Yeah. Uh, it's happened you... to me several times. Ooh, do tell. Uh, I actually had wipies with me that were in the car, but being Minnesota, it was very cold. The wipies were <laughs> frozen <laughs> and could not be used. So towel, wet towels is what I had to go with in the store. It was... <laughs> It was unpleasant. I'm sure it was unpleasant for her, but she's yeah. a trooper. Yeah. Uh, how old do you think you were when you were potty trained? I would have no idea. Yeah. I think my mom said probably by three, yeah. Because I was two, three, uh, and I, I didn't have, like, a training potty. Yeah, because I think that's a newer invention. So I just had, like, the inset seat we thing. We have that. Yeah, uh, but they knew I, I was ready because I would always go to the same corner in the kitchen to take deuces. <laughs> <laughs> so just wearing like the diapers, just going to the corner of the kitchen, just like <clears throat> that was your potty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So what? Let's just take a deuce now. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you know, I think Margo will get it pretty quick, especially if. She keeps getting bribed with M&M's. You know what? This morning she went potty and I um, asked her if she wanted M&M's and she said no. Or do you she, think that's just because it's morning and she's not a morning eater? That could be. She had, I think, like four blueberries for breakfast. Yeah. yeah. They always say that breakfast was the more, most important meal of the day. Except that might be crap. I don't know. You just got to find her time. I think that's another thing that's going to be hard with preschool. She's oh, gone. getting her to eat something beforehand. Yeah. And also, she is a uh, – so we're, we're looking at, like, morning, like, day uh, preschool times. But that that's usually the time of her uh, – <laughs> it's the time yeah. she usually – uh, I would say if you could set a watch to it, about 1030 every single day, punting time. Middle of the Middle of the day. Yeah. Yeah, her employer's going to love her. <laughs> she better just work for herself. I think everybody has their time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she does seem to have fun with it, though. Potty training? Yeah. Huh. 
Yeah, she, I mean, she, as long as she has her activity that she wants to do, she's fine. Well, Coloring or yeah. Also, she's very curious about like you and I using the toilet because like when I'm in there, I don't have the door shut. She'll she'll barge in she'll like, "What are you doing, Daddy?" And then she'll just keep trying to look at my 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 thing. I was like, "It's very uncomfortable." It's like I feel like you were too old to just be constantly trying to look at my junk. She made me shut the door. I try, but then she gets sad. She's crafty. Yeah. So uh, she also she really enjoys flushing. When she does go potty, you know, we yes. put it in the toilet. And she likes flushing that. She does. So I, I don't know. Maybe it's just a novelty for now, but her her interest will hopefully speed things along. I hope so. Yeah. Got to be potty trained to go to that preschool. Also, wait a minute. Don't you take showers with her? I don't take showers with her. That'd be really annoying. She'd wiggle too much. But but you would if she. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Why? I don't know. Because parenting has has come up uh, a lot like this week. Because Tom Brady, um, there's some mild internet hullabaloo, which really means nothing. He, like his son, who's four or five, somewhere in there, like he like kisses on the lips. Like, I, I know that's not really a American thing, but Tom Brady's wife is Brazilian. And the Brazilians kiss everywhere. I mean, that, that's sort of the thing. But... <laughs> I don't know, like, I never kissed my dad on the lips. I always thought that was weird. Did Why ever... is it weird for you to kiss your dad, but not for Margaret to kiss you? Because we're not, uh, well, I, I think it's just the, like the guy-guy thing. But he's not a guy, he's a four-year-old little boy. No, no, I was talking about like me and my dad. Like, I graduated high school, I'm not going to like uh, oh, give, that would give, be weird. slip my dad some tongue. Well, I'm sure as they get older, it's not going to be a continuous thing. Could it be? Or will it turn into that SNL sketch of like the, the family that, has, that just Frenches each other? Oh. Yeah. That'd be gross. Yeah. But so, showering thing. Uh, it, say Margaret was a boy, I would feel weird showering with him. Well, then you wouldn't. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a weird thing because, like, in team sports, they like everyone just showers together and it's fine. But. Because you have, like, your own shower head. You're not like. Hey, let me in there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I like. All right, so say Margaret is four. Would you still feel fine showering with her? Yes. What about fourteen. That would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> when does the line come in? Well, I don't know. Just whenever it, it feels weird. Yeah. All right, and also, like, so full disclosure, we're one of those couples that are comfortable uh, taking care of of business. In the bathroom while the other one is in there? Is that fair to say? Fair to say. Okay. Because uh, I know some couples are really, really weird about that. Like, there are some couples that haven't even farted in front of each other, which is odd. But the I the kid. Explode. Like, say you're in there taking a deuce. It's a chilly night or something. And, you know, Margaret's in there brushing her teeth or, like, wants to blow dry her hair or something. Would you be kosher with that? Say Margaret is 14. It probably wouldn't bother me. <laughs> But maybe she wouldn't want to be in there if I'm That's dropping so a weird. deuce. <laughs> That's still just so weird. But I don't know. If we were in a a locker room showering, what would be the difference? Yeah, except there's not like a, a toilet in the middle of a uh, of the that shower. That's true. That'd be gross. Yeah. I don't know. It just wouldn't bother me. Wait, doesn't doesn't she get peeing in M and M's if she poops in the potty? I ate those. Oh. <laughs> They were peanut butter. No, I, I just thought that, that would be a funny thing, though, if, if it actually was peanut M&M's. They were peanut butter, and oh. I ate them. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there wasn't any corn M&M's available. Right. Or yeah, That's nasty. Something like Maybe that, you should have got the crispy ones. Uh, when you say over under June, before uh, before or after June, do you think uh, Toots actually is officially potty trained? Well, I'm going to have to put that on you because it depends on how hard you work at it during the day. I mean, there's always Saturdays and Sundays. That's when a lot of work gets done. And I will work on that. Yeah. But <laughs> one weekend does not take care of it all. Well, like, what is like technically potty trained? Like she just doesn't pee in the diaper anymore. She says, hey, I got to go potty, man. Yeah, like she'll let you know or she'll go to the bathroom and yeah. do her business. Oh, wait. So at preschool, say you got a class of like, Set 15 kids. Like, all, every single one of them goes up to the teacher and says, like, hey, man, I got pee. Maybe they have potty times 
Or are they all going? They're there for like seventeen know. minutes. They're there for two hours. Well, yeah, two hours is what they say. Except you know, there's some kids late. It's like, oh, we can't start. We can't start without Henry because not starting uh, without people is rude. And, and then Henry gets there like half an hour late. And then that's already truncated down. And then since it's winter, everyone has to get their coats on. And your parents, you have to pick your kids up at, on time. Otherwise, you get fined. So that's that whittles it down to about 17 minutes. All true. Except I think they have, like, free playtime at the beginning. Maybe that's how they get by that so kids can get there. Free play. I could do free playtime. You do do This free is playtime. a racket. <laughs> yeah. Would well. you like to home preschool, Margaret? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should have just start at daycare. I don't think people will trust me with their kids. I don't think so. Yeah, I probably won't trust me either. I don't blame them. Yeah. Uh, but we are gone. Uh, big thanks to uh, the Baby Mama Club to, for showing up and talking about potty training. But uh, tell a friend. Uh, you know dads. You know moms in your parenting groups that uh, just need a little bit of help. Need to take the edge off a little bit. That's what we do. Tell about the show. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. And follow us uh on Twitter at Dadmopod, me and Andy Carlson show. The website is always per uh, Dadmopod.com. But until next time, be a man, be a father, and go dad mode, and we'll smell you later. Think the episode you just heard is worth a dollar? Well, send it our way. Visit dadmodepod.com slash support to find out how. Be a man, be a father. Go dad mode. The music is created and produced by Deeb. To hear more of his tracks, visit soundcloud.com slash Deeb.